Sig Sauer is one of the world's biggest firearm manufacturers for a reason. They produce high-quality firearms that have been in service with the military, law enforcement, and civilians all over the globe. From concealed carry pistols to duty sidearms, sniper rifles, submachine guns, assault rifles, and so on, SIG manufactures just about every type of firearm one can imagine. Originally based out of Germany and Switzerland, SIG has since relocated most of their production over to New Hampshire for the American market. Their dedication to quality, however, has not changed, nor has their reputation for innovation either. We've listed the top eight SIG Sauer pistols and their key features, plus some things you need to consider to help choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 8, the Sig Sauer GSR 1911. The Sig Sauer GSR 1911 is one of the highest selling 1911 pistols in the United States today. The GSR is also widely regarded as being one of the highest quality 1911s on the market because of its crisp single action trigger and excellent accuracy. The SIG claims that the GSR 1911 is capable of producing 1.5 inch groupings at 25 meters. The GSR 1911 is also offered in a variety of finishes, including stainless steel, nitron dark, or two tone. Number 7. The SIG Sauer P225. The Sig Sauer P225 is a scaled-down P220 chambered for 9mm with 8 rounds of ammunition in the magazine. The P225 is noticeably more compact than the P220 and was originally developed as the P6 for Western German police forces in the 1970s, where it was introduced alongside the Walther P5 and the HK P7. The manual of arms between the P220 and the P225 is exactly the same. The original version of the P225 was discontinued, but a new version called the P225A1 was recently released by SIG a few years ago as the original P225 successor. The new P225A1 is essentially a single stack version of the P228 or P229. Number 6. The SIG Sauer P220 The P220 was introduced as the first installment in SIG's 220 line. Initially chambered in both 9mm and 45 ACP, the P220 later switched to being a 45 ACP only handgun, and it's currently only offered in the 45 ACP caliber. The P220 was essentially the successor to the P210. It has a double action, single action trigger mode with a decocker lever located on the side of the frame that should be easy for the user's finger or thumb to reach. The standard magazine capacity is 8 rounds. The P220 is still currently being made today with improved ergonomics and a tactical rail located on the frame for adding lights and lasers. The old 9mm version is still serving as the main service handgun of the Japanese military. Number 5. Sig Sauer P320 M17 In 2017, the US Army decided to retire the Beretta M9 and replace it with the Sig P320 M17 pistol, and there was much rejoicing. The P320 is a striker-fired pistol and has a manual safety, which is a key Army requirement. The pistol is a double action only, meaning a single trigger pull will both cock the pistol and release the firing pin, firing the gun. The P320 civilian model is available in 9mm, 357 SIG, 40 s and 45 ACP. The double stack 17 plus 1 round magazine comes from the factory with a spare. There are 21 plus 1 round magazines available for this weapon as well. The weapon comes in Coyote Brown, similar to the military model, and sports a SIG light front night sight and a removable night sight rear plate. The PVD-coated stainless steel slide features the same optic cut as the M17 for mounting of an electronic sight. The pistol is 8 inches overall in length with a 4.7-inch barrel, and it weighs in at just under 2 pounds. The Sig Romeo 1T red dot optic is recommended for this gun. Number 4. Sig Sauer P365XL Another excellent pistol from Sig Sauer, the folks at the factory took an already excellent weapon in the P365 and made it even better with an XL model. The XL has a 12-round magazine at 12 plus 1, and they extended the barrel by 0.6 inches, which helps with a longer sight radius, which is supposed to help with accuracy. Although it's a tad longer, it weighs in at just 20 ounces, and with the longer grip, it allows for a very comfortable feel, and of course, it comes with SIG's outstanding ergonomics. Of course, they included that flat trigger that's such a nice feature to shoot with. The slide is perfectly designed for the installation of red dot optics, and the one that I had the opportunity to fire had the factory Sig Romeo red dot optic, and it was accurate. 
The Sig Sauer P365XL is another ideal concealed carry weapon, especially if the shooter has larger hands, otherwise the P365 may be the better option. But it's an incredibly accurate, smooth pistol built with Sig's well-deserved reputation of excellence. This was a toss-up with the Sig Sauer P320X Compact 9mm. Number 3. Sig Sauer P228 and P229 The P228 was originally developed as a more compact version of the P226 and was adopted by the United States Army. The P228 later developed into the P229, and the two guns are one and the same, only with the P229 slide built out of stainless steel in contrast to the P228's carbon. This was done so the P229 could handle the higher pressures of the hotter 40 s and and the 357 SIG rounds. The 357 SIG version of the P229 serves as the main sidearm of the United States Secret Service, and earlier the P228 and 9mm served as their main sidearm. The P228 was technically discontinued, but the same gun in the same form of the Sig Sauer M11A1 is still being made today. For all intent and purpose, the M11 is identical to the original P228, with only the markings being different. The M11A1 is so named because it was the designation given to the handgun by the United States military. Number 2. The Sig Sauer P210 the Sig Sauer P210 was the pistol that started it all. Released in 1948, it was the first major success for Sig Sauer. The P210 is a single-action only hammer-fired pistol with a single-stack magazine that holds eight rounds of 9mm Luger. The P210 was adopted by numerous European police and military units and continued to see service until fairly recently. Sig released the P220 in 1975, which largely served as the P210's successor. The Danish police, for instance, continued to use the P210 up until the 2010s, when it was finally replaced by the Sig Sauer P320. The P210 ceased production temporarily in 2006, before being revived in 2017 as the P210A, which is essentially the same gun sold as a classic by Sig in limited numbers. Coming in at number 1, the Sig Sauer P226. The Sig Sauer P226 is perhaps Sig's most famous handgun. This pistol was introduced in the 1980s to compete for the United States Army contract as the new service handgun to replace the Colt M1911A1. For context, the P226 is essentially a double-stacked P220 rechambered for 9mm. The P226 and the Beretta M9 became final competitors out of an initially much larger field, with Beretta emerging as the victor. However, the P226R was still adopted as the main handgun of the United States Navy SEALs but it was later replaced by the Glock 19. The standard capacity of the P226 is 15 rounds, but longer 18-round magazines are being made by MechGar. P226 pistols today are still in service with many law enforcement and military units around the world. Let us know in the comments which model works best for you and why. Thanks for watching this video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.